Griff, and welcome to the January February Warrior Scoop. And I'm Sarah, and this month we'll be talking about setting New Year's resolutions. It is very important to set long term goals in life. That's right, and New Year's resolutions are also very important. What are New Year's resolutions again? They're goals you set up for the upcoming year. Can improving your grades be a New Year's resolution? Yes, now it's time for the announcement. The word of the month is perseverance. This means to do something no matter how hard the task, not giving up. Kind of like how the students show great perseverance when making straight A's throughout the year. Mrs. Chandler's dual enrollment class has been working on a giant floor map of Civil War America for several weeks. Let's take a look at those pictures. Third grade, Chloe Cummings. Fourth grade, Ty Valentine. Fifth grade, Cecilia Rump. Sixth grade, Nathan Lippo. Seventh grade, Lily Smith. Eighth grade, Georgia Lauderdale. The Wilson Spelling Bee champion is Georgia Lauderdale. She will be representing Wilson at the county level. The Junior High Scholar Bowl Level 1 and Level 2 teams had a meet on January 24th at the Board of Education. Level 1 team won five matches and lost one. They finished second place to Brooks, who was undefeated. Level 1 team members are... Lacey Cottingham, Harrison Haygood, Ian Moon, Maya Sheffield, Joey Sims, Devin Willis, and Stacey Brown. Level 2 only lost one match to OCHS. Their team members are Alex Credle, Mason Handback, Jacob Lambert, Brody Prince, and Mason Smith. The Elementary Scholar Bowl team members are Karen Forsyth, Dawson Wheels, Emery Flippo, Nathan Flippo, Preston Daniel, Red Jones, Carter Thompson, Savannah Ingram. They won four out of seven matches at their last match. Elementary Book Fair is February 16th through the 23rd. Read Across America is February 26th through March 2nd. Fourth grade battle of the books competition is Thursday, March 1st. Ms. Holcomb's cinema class created movie posters before Christmas. The posters replicated the real movie posters with only her class instead of the stars of the movies. She plans on having the second semester do the same thing. Let's check out some pictures. Check out our high school team interviews about goals. Hello, I'm Nick and I'm a senior at Wilson. I'm here interviewing a couple of seniors today about their future goals and whether they be athletic or academic. This is Phoebe Moon, a senior here from Wilson, and Phoebe runs cross country and track for Wilson. So Phoebe, are you planning on following a college path after graduation or going straight to the career path? Well, thanks for asking, Nicholas. I am actually following, um, I'm going to running college at UNA and for scholarship money, and then I'm going to study chemistry there, and I'm hoping to further that degree into becoming a dentist. So, you already know what your major is, and uh, what type, so you, and you hope to be a dentist? Yes, that's my So how, how did you how did you plan for your future? I worked really hard on making good grades. I would study every night. I wanted to be involved with the school more, so being involved is very important in on college or resumes especially, like the applications and stuff, you need to be involved with your school. And just like making good grades and keeping, you know, you need to have friends too and just being social and being nice to everyone. And that's pretty much how I prepared. Oh, and I ran really hard. That's, that's what it takes. That's what, yeah, that's what it takes. So what process did you go through to get a scholarship? Like take us through what you did every day to either, you know, get better athletically or academically. Well, I wasn't sure where I was going at first, so it took me a while to determine to at least get it down to two schools, and it was between UAH and UNA. And for running, Coach Phillips would give me workouts, and I upped my mileage to about seven or eight miles a day. And I would run, and I finally got my time down, and uh, scholarships came in and stuff like that. And then for academics, I studied for the SAT, and Coach Phillips also gave us a time schedule and so we made it mandatory for us to study one time a day so that really helped and that's pretty much all I did for college. Well thank you Phoebe and good luck at UNA. Hey everyone, I'm Tucker and I'm here interviewing Coach Jordan Yerby. Coach Yerby is a ninth grade history teacher here at Wilson and he also helps coach both basketball and baseball. 
Coach Irving, I'm going to ask you a few questions about your career goals. How you got to, you know, decide what you want to do, how you got to this point where you are today, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, first question is, uh, have you always wanted to be a teacher? Well, to be honest, I, when I started out of high school, I was going to be a machinist, but being a teacher was always a thought in my mind. Uh, and uh, it's, it's something that uh, once I decided to pursue it, I, I couldn't be more happy with the decision I made. Uh, tell me a little bit about, about how you made the decision to become a teacher or coach. Well, I was taking machinist classes at Northwest Shoals. I had taken them at Allen Thornton, and I would really enjoyed it. Uh, but I kept thinking back to high school and to the impact that those teachers that I had made on me and, and how much they had helped me through tough times. And I just thought, I feel like I can do more, and I could really help more uh, being a teacher than I would be a machinist. Uh, if you had to pick one, what would you say is your favorite thing about teaching? I really enjoy seeing when students make a connection with the content and along their learning pathway. Uh, you can see it in their face. You can see it. Uh, they light up and they start to engage more. They start to uh, want to learn more about the content. Uh, at the same time, I really love to just learn about them. So it, it has to do with the learning and, and learning about them as well. Uh, last question, if you have any advice for future teachers out there, you know, what, would you, what would you tell them? I would tell any future teacher that they need to be all in. Uh, be as hands-on as possible, uh, to dive right in, learn as much as you can about the content, what you're teaching, but at the same time, be as prepared as you can, but be able to adapt. If you can't change, if you can't adapt, you're going to struggle. And that's, that's something that I've learned to do uh, about as well as I can, and uh, if I if I adapt, I can always uh, do something better. So. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Jerry, for agreeing to be interviewed on the Warriors Group today. Thank you, Tucker. Next, we have Tucker Brown, who is also a senior here at Wilson. Tucker plays baseball, football, and he's here to discuss some of his athletic goals from his senior year. Tucker, first of all, were there any specific goals you wanted the football team to achieve? Uh, win an area championship and possibly make a deep run in the playoffs. Sounds good. Uh, what types of personal goals do you think you had, you know, that didn't include the team, you know, maybe just personal achievements? Uh, well, all area is definitely one of them, but I also want to be a good leader and a good role model for the younger kids on our team. Uh, if you had any, uh, what obstacles did you face achieving your personal goals this year? Not any that I can think of. I was lucky to avoid injuries all year, so that's, that's good. And uh, finally, what advice would you give to uh, others that have, you know, maybe similar goals to you or want to be, want to be like you? Uh, just keep working hard. Do everything you can to get there. Uh, thank you. How are you doing, Mr. Erson? Great. Great. Uh, thank you for being here today. So uh, we'll just get right to the questions. Uh, so first of all, why did you want to become a school guidance counselor? Uh, well, I've been in education for 28 years, and uh, you know, I, I've been uh, fortunate to be able to work with some great individuals. I've had some uh, great mentors in my career that were coaches, teachers, counselors and uh, I just think my personality uh, lends itself to the counseling field and uh, I, I've just spent a lot of time talking with the, some of the counselors back when I was in the teaching field and uh, I really think that was a, a good fit for me so I guess I was kind of uh, led there by some of my mentors. Uh, so is there anything specific that you would like the high schoolers to know about the counseling services you offer? Okay, well, uh, all of our 9 through 12 students are able to, to come to my office for uh, various uh, services, uh, uh, counseling services for anything related to school, social, career. Uh, there are resources that I could help them find or I already have in my office, or there's just sometimes students need somebody to talk to. There may be some things there uh, that are stressing them out at home or at school that it's just hard to find an outlet and it's really good sometimes to have a counselor be able to listen and, uh, and put things in perspective for them. Uh, so how is the high school position different than the middle school position? Well, in the high school, it, there's a lot more focus toward college outside of high school, jobs, military. Uh, their time is short as far as finding out what they want to do. And I think it hits a lot of uh, upperclassmen that, you know, my 
high school career is not going to last much longer. I've got to make a decision on what I want to do outside of school. So I think that's the biggest change is a lot of the focus is toward their meeting their goals and setting themselves up for success outside of high school, whether it be in the workforce, military, college, and middle school, it's not so much of a big focus uh, during those uh, years, but in high school, I think that's the that's the biggest thing is, you know, hey, I'm running out of time. What am I going to do next? Well, Mr. Hurston, thank you for agreeing to uh, let us interview today. Uh, my name is Nick, and we're signing off. All right, it's time for our monthly food report. Hey, Sarah, what are they making this time? This month, are we making a healthy snack that will benefit your exercise? I'm Charlie. And I'm Emma. We're here with the food report. Today, we are making a strawberry banana smoothie. A uh, good snack after school. A smoothie is much better than chips and cookies because it gives you more energy. You will need two cups of frozen strawberries. A fresh peeled banana. One cup of almond milk. And a cup of ice. And you can use a tablespoon of honey or Greek yogurt, but we're just using Greek yogurt. We will blend it for 30 seconds. Once that is done, you will pour it into your glass. Now we have our script tags. Hi. Hey guys. Before we taste this, what are all your New Year's resolutions? I think my New Year's resolution is probably to get better at art. Mine will be to improve in basketball. Mine will be to complete my second chapter book. Mine will be to do better at sports and have better grades. Mine will be to better be better at sports. My New Year's resolution is to get better at cheer. How about you, Emma? My New Year's resolution is to get better at cooking. Cool. So, what do you guys think is most important about exercise? Well, it keeps you healthy, and it gives you more energy when, when you're playing a sport. So that's good. Cool, now let's try these smoothies. That's good. It is pretty good. That's delicious. Thanks for watching, and remember to exercise and stay healthy. Back to you guys. Thanks, Emma and Charlotte, for teaching us how to make that healthy snack. Next up is Preston and Nathan telling us about the importance of reading. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm Preston, and this is our January slash February book report. But today, we'll be turning it up a little. Yes, today we will be talking about the importance of reading and interviewing some people on why they think it's important. We're also going to be talking about some books that we've read and that we've liked. The book that I've read and I've liked is the Diary of Wimpy Kid series. The first book that I read was Diary of Wimpy Kid Dog Days. It is book number four. So the way I got started is my fourth grade teacher, Coach D, he had almost all of them. So I picked one up and I started reading that. After that, I got hooked on it. So then I wanted to read more. So my grandmother, I started to get me all of them and she got me them. Till this day, I still like those books. I like that series too. My book is Jurassic Park because it has a tense climax. It starts off as a mystery, though, and after that, it becomes a very action-packed book. It is about an amusement park full of dinosaurs, and unexpectedly, they turn on the park rangers. That's my book. That sounds pretty cool. How's New Year's gone for you so far? It's pretty good, but I want to know how everyone else's is. Let's go ask us. 
Hi, I'm Nathan, and today I'm interviewing Miss Utley and her UNA intern, Miss Day. Miss Utley, why do you think reading is important? I think reading is important for a lot of reasons. It helps expand your imagination. It helps build on your vocabulary. And it also kind of helps as a stress reliever. If kids or adults are going through a rough time at home, it helps get their mind off of what's going on and put it somewhere else. And how often do you I read every day, but when I like to pleasure read, I am usually on vacation. Uh, my favorite place to read a book is when I'm on the beach. Okay, and Miss Daddy, how does reading help you in your everyday life? Well, reading will take you anywhere you want to go in life. So when you read, you have the power to go where you want to go, to learn what you want to learn, and you put the power in your hands. Okay, and what is your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is actually to read and complete four novels this year. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm here with Jonah, this Why do you think reading is important? It can take you anywhere you want to go. Okay, how often do you read? If I'm bored 24-7. Okay. How does reading help you in your everyday life in, at school and at home? It may it make me get better grades. Okay. And what is your New Year's resolution? To lose weight. Okay. Thank you. I'm here with Tasha Carpenter and I'm gonna be asking him some questions about reading. Okay? How are you doing today? Good. Good. Why do you think reading is important? It could make you smarter. Okay. How often do you read? Twenty minutes a day. Okay. How does reading help you in your everyday life? Good. That's really good. What are your New Year's resolution? To be better at sports. Okay. Thanks for what? Have a time to interview. Okay. I'm with Ms. Galano and Grayson Davis, and I'm going to be asking them some questions about why they think reading is important. Okay? Why do you think reading is important, you guys? I think reading is important because if there is any particular topic that you want to know more information about, just find you a book and you can learn anything you need to know. I think you can learn more about things in your life that you never have read before. Okay. How often do y'all read? I read every day. I read every day. Okay. How do reading help you in your everyday life? It's almost like the first question, how does it help you in everyday life? Well, you know, there are things that I come across that I don't really understand or know what it means and I want to get more information about it, so I go and find a book and, and get that information. I want to know about more things and just learn more every day. Okay. What's y'all's New Year's resolution? Mine's always the same. I want to lose weight. <laughs> Mine is to learn more about football. Okay. Well, thank y'all for letting me interview y'all. I'm interviewing Callie, a first grader, and asking her some questions about reading. Why do you think reading is important? To learn. Okay. How often do you read? A lot. Okay. How does reading help you every day? To learn about stuff. And what's your new year's resolution? Those were some interesting answers. Yeah, they were. But now I have a question for you. What's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to lose a little weight. How about you? I have actually two. My first one is to do good at any club that I'm in. My second one is to do better at basketball. This has concluded our monthly book report. Thanks for watching. Back to you guys. Thank you, Preston and Nathan, for telling us about the importance of reading. Also, thank you for the interview on why reading is really important. Next up, we have Chandler interviewing Miss Olgren, our new elementary principal. Hey guys, I'm Chandler, and I'm your classroom reporter. We have a new elementary principal, Miss Olgren. She used to be our guidance counselor. She's finally back home. Let's get to the interview. Hi, Miss Olgren. How are you? I'm good today, Chandler. How are you doing? I'm, I'm good. How does it feel to be a Wilson Warrior again? Oh my goodness, there's, there's just so many emotions for me to, 
to be back home. Um, this is this is my home school. I graduated from here. Uh, I have that good old blue in my blood. My children went here and uh, got some good experience being at some different schools, but I am so glad to be back home. How has setting goals helped you in life? Well, I think we, we all need to, it's very, very important to set goals. Um, you know, I, I, I think that's the only way that we can bring about our full potential to being the best person that we could be. So I think short-term goals, like what, what we're going to do today, what, what we're going to accomplish next week, as well as long-term goals, uh, what are we going to do three years from now or five years from now, I think both of those goal-setting strategies are good for all of us. What do you expect from your staff and students for this New Year's? Well, you know, I always, I, I've always taken great pride in, in Wilson School and I can tell that the faculty and the staff here also takes great, great pride. And uh, I want to keep that up. I want us to keep that up. Um, and the students as well. Uh, school spirit, spirit is important. Uh, just, just being a Wilson warrior. And uh, that's, I expect them to set high goals and, and follow through with those goals. What's your New Year's resolution? You know, I did not make a New Year's resolution. Every morning when I get up, I think about what I've got to accomplish and things that I need to do to better myself. And I try to work on that every day. Thank you. Well, thank you for asking me to come. Guys, let's make it our New Year's resolution to follow the rules and to make Miss Auburn proud to be a warrior. Back to you guys. I'm Sarah, and I'm here with the elementary robotics team. They participated in the first level of competition in Athens on December 2nd. They'll be let, letting us know what they do and how they do it. By doing the competition, they received average, above average, and excellent marking. Beth, Ross, and Lily, what are some of the things you do in robotic meetings? We uh, work together as a team to complete missions. We work to achieve our goals. We learn FLO rules and use them outside the classroom and in the classroom. Preston, Timothy, and Ethan, how do you feel about robotics? I think it's just good for everyone that wants to achieve more and just get the taste of having fun and stuff like that. And then I think it's good if you like programming and stuff like that. I think it's a great opportunity to learn about everyone in the group and learn in general. Um, I'm going to have to agree with Timothy. I think it's a good way to socialize with new people you get to meet and um, make more friends. The robotics team visited East Limestone to compete in their competition. We got scored on our robot design. We did our missions to get against a bunch of other teams and just work together. Um, when we were in the competition, when we were in the competition, um, our team just worked together and tried to accomplish as many missions as, po as possible. Lane and Larry, when can new students be on the robotics team? Fourth and fifth grade. Submit applications in May. Why do you think they should join? It's fun, and every day you learn something new about your coding abilities and the friends that you work with. What about you interested in robotics, Silver? I wanted to code and do something creative. How about you, Julian? I've been interested in robotics because I've always been into robots and. When I heard I had the EV3, I knew I'd have a little bit of an advantage because when I was in 4-H, they also had the EV3. Madison, what got you interested? I knew that my brother was doing high school robotics, and I saw him as a robot, and I thought that I would take him. Um, well, in Miss Burnsworth, uh, we would do coding, 
Um, and we also did it in Miss Barry House's room, and I wanted to code the robot. Our theme for this Warrior Escape is setting New Year's resolutions. What are some of y'all's New Year's resolutions? My New Year's resolution is pretty much the same as when I was doing the book report. Just to do good in any club that I'm in, like robotics or warrior scoop or something like that, and then to get better at basketball. My New Year's resolution is kind of like Preston's, just to improve overall in everything that I do in school and out of school, grades and just everything else. My New Year's resolution is to accomplish all my goals. My New Year's resolution is to be kind to others and to be more organized. And remember, it's always good to set goals, so when you set a goal, always follow through with it. That concludes my report. Back to you guys. Thank you, Chandler, for interviewing our new elementary principal. And I had a great time interviewing the robotics team. Next is Kaylee with this month's weather, and she'll be telling us how snow is. Hi, I'm Kaylee Forsyth, and I'm here with your January and February weather report. The month of January had highs anywhere from 30 degrees to 50 degrees, and lows anywhere from teens to 40 degrees. The month of February will be highs anywhere from the low 40s to the mid 50s, and lows anywhere from the mid 20s to the mid 30s. The month of January is about New Year's Eve. New Year's is about setting goals for the new year, which is called New Year's Resolution. My New Year's Resolution is to get better at basketball and volleyball. Since it's winter, let's talk about snow. Snow is formed when temperatures are low and there is moisture in the atmosphere in the form of tiny ice crystals. When these tiny ice crystals collide, they stick together in clouds to become snowflakes. If enough ice crystals stick together, they'll become heavy enough to fall to the ground, which forms what we call snow. During the month of January, we got out a week for snow. Well, I'm Kaylee, and that concludes the weather report. Back. Thanks, Kaylee, for telling us how snow forms. Now I have Dalton and Everett with the sports report. Also, they will be interviewing Coach Oakley and, and be talking with the 5th and 6th grade basketball team. Hi, I'm Everett. Welcome to the Warriors Group Sports Report. Today, we are going to talk to Coach Oakley and to the Varsity Girls basketball team. We will also be talking to some of the boys from the youth basketball team. Now to Coach Oakley, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Pretty good. Has your team improved any this year? Um, I believe we have. We uh, we started off the season kind of rough with two losses, but you know we've got a team this year that hasn't played a lot of basketball together, and we've we've had a very successful season so far. So yeah, I would I would say we've improved quite a bit. How long have you been a coach? Uh, this will be my. I think this is my eighth year. I've always coached boys. Uh, this is my first varsity coach coaching job, and it's the first time for me to coach girls as well. Do you feel your team has gotten anything out of your coaching? <laughs> if you ask me, I say yes. If you ask them, I don't know what they'll say. Um, but, you know, I say it a lot. I hope I've taught them something about basketball, but, you know, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is uh, teach these girls something that's going to help them in life after basketball. What is your New Year's resolution this year? Oh, that's a good one. I've got a lot. I would say one of them, uh, basketball related, is time management. Um, I'm not real good with my practice time. I think I, uh, on average, I go over about 15 minutes per practice. So that's something I want to do a better job of this year is just be better with my time management. Thank you so much for letting us interview you. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm here with some of the girls' bas varsity basketball team. Has your team met your expectations this year? I believe we've met our expectations this year. As of the fifth, we have a big area game going into tonight, into tonight and we expect to get a win out of it. Okay. Has your coach pushed you to succeed? Yes, he pushes us each game to give 100%, and if we, even if we have a rough game the next day at practice, he pushes us harder. How confident have you felt going into games this year? We felt pretty confident going to every game. Even after a loss, we come back out the next game and give it all. How did y'all do in the county tournament this year? The first round of the county tournament, we won it to Lexington. And then the second round, we played Largo County, and we lost by 12. It wasn't what we had hoped for, but it was still a hard-fought game. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank, Thank you, you for the opportunity. Now to the youth boys basketball travel team. What do you want to accomplish this year? Getting better at basketball. Having fun. What got you to start playing basketball? Well, at first I just played baseball. And then I thought, I want to try a different sport. So, and all my friends pretty much played basketball. 
So I tried out and I actually made it. That's what got me started. I started playing basketball because I watched my dad when I was a little kid. It amazed me how fun it was. What do y'all do in basketball practice? Basically a combination of drills, some plays, and work together on being a better team. What do you want to accomplish this year? Um, I want to accomplish getting better at basketball, helping my team out, and winning games. Thank you guys for letting me interview y'all. Don't forget that Alabama beat Georgia in the national championship 26-23 to in overtime. The Winter Olympics will begin February 9th and last through February 25th. It will be hosted in South Korea. You can check them out on NBC. That's the Warrior Scoop Sports Report. Back to you guys. Thank you for telling us some information about sports. This is the end of the January-February Warrior Scoop. What's your New Year's resolution, Ray? This year I want to exercise more. What about you? Well, mine's to be more organized. I'm Sarah. And I'm Ray. If there's information you want to know about the Warriors, we got it for you. See you next time. Stay tuned next month for more masterpieces.